Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Metroid. In the last part we cleared out Brinstar. In this part we're going to explore a new area. Some new music. This is the purple area. Uh, called Norfair. We'll start out by going left. Oh, I can just freeze those. So, this area... I don't know. Missiles? I don't really know what to say. This looks like a dead end here, but it's not. You can bomb right through. I think there's another missile tank down here. This place looks fluffy. She looks kind of like Zelda, but but pink, like the original Legend of Zelda. Maybe I don't even know what I'm talking about. That's what it reminds me of, though. I don't know what those are supposed to be. Spitting... ...stuff, I don't even know. That's all there is down here. Some of these you can kill and some you can't. It's, uh, that one you can't. I don't even know what if there's any visual difference. I think the color might be slightly different. Who knows? Well, the, the fire I guess it is. I'm just gonna go back. And you go right. It's easy to get lost in this place. This is when stuff starts really looking the same everywhere. You can kill these with missiles. Otherwise they take a ton of hits. Oh. I do that. Fall in the lava. The magma. That was not worth it. Looks like you can go through the floor right here. But don't bother. There's nothing down there. This, this hallway Kind of reminds me of a, a cross between Super Mario Brothers 2 and the original Mega Man game. I don't know. So those bricks, they look like something from Mega Man. I don't remember what, but I know they do. Probably, uh. Oh, what's the. Elect Man. Like man stage, probably. Okay, hold on. Okay, yeah. I'm just gonna go down here. Don't worry, I'll go in that door later, though. It'll be easier to navigate. Oh, that's. Game's turning orange here. Door. These dragon things, I always like to freeze those. 
so you get the I'm under the impression that they don't like that very much. What was living in the magma. Oh, here, I think this is the only one you can actually bomb past and reach anywhere worthwhile. Oh, that's... I didn't even mention, I just picked up the high jump boots. They, they make you jump high, obviously. The wing boots. Actually, I found a an NES at Goodwill with Faxanadu or Fazanadu if you want to pronounce it the way it probably is meant to be. So here's Green Norfair. Yeah, at Goodwill. Came with Faxanadu and I haven't even played it yet. Never played it before. That's beside the point. Here's a green Norfair. Which is it's in Super Metroid also. Remember that. And this item room in here, you definitely don't want to pass up. This will that right there. Any Smash Brothers fans will probably recognize that symbol. The screw attack. So if you're if you're running while you jump, you'll you'll do the screw attack, and it really breaks the game. I think you can just kill anything in one hit. Well, not anything, not that guy, but yeah, that's. Probably the best upgrade in the game, I think. We'll go through the floor. Not there. It's always there. I'm gonna go right here, I think. I think there's a missile somewhere down here. These, these platforms. Man, I, I don't know what they're supposed to look like, but they look like gumdrops to me. They always have. It never made sense why they were in why they look like that. I'm running out of missiles. There are a lot of missile upgrades that I passed up. I didn't get in the purple area. I'll get them later. Ooh. Some more of these gumdrops. This area really everything looks similar. So in, in these rooms there's so, several rooms that look like this and you can always bomb the floor right next to the door right there. I think there's a an E tank down here. It's not what they're called in this game, I think. It's Mega Man. Pretty much with the uh, the screw attack, there's nothing that can really hurt me until the very end of the game. Just jump and kill everything. Kind of like in Mario Brothers, the jump is the main attack. It's true in this game too. Oh, that was close. That's all there is down here. That was not a missile tank. That's later. Later there's a missile upgrade after a long hallway. Like, it's not even worth it to go after it, really. I'll show you why when we get there. 
This is a very dangerous area. I can never find this uh, green area when I was a kid playing this. I don't know, I always bomb behind those statues. I just almost never got to here. I'll be trying to get through the next area without all the energy tank and screw attack and all that good stuff. That's my chair squeaking. I need a new chair. Like those beetles coming out of there, those like the, the buzzy beetles from Mario. Fatter. I don't even know if that's what I'm thinking of. There's one. There's ones in Mario 3 with wings and they're red. I hate that level. Oh. Yeah, this part. I don't even know if they're eyeballs or something. I think, I think we always used to call them like embryos. Maybe that was in Contra. That slime always grossed me out. Like stalactites of I don't even I don't even wanna know what that's made out of. Bomb through here. As always. Screw attack. I think there's two missiles down here actually. That's how I always like skip missiles is I just like I get one and then leave. And I don't know what I missed later. I'm at the end of the game and I have 250 missiles. Naturally you can hold up to 255. Another thing about this game is the fake lava. Just when I found that. Then you find out there's fake lava and you don't know which lava you can go in and which you can't. You just jump in the lava. Now this, this right here is really bad game design. It's uh, right in front of me. If you fall in there it's, it's very difficult to get out. Very likely you'll die if you fall in there. Right, here's another room like this. There's rooms like this in uh, Super Metroid also. And look, a new item. I hate those dragons. So this here is the final beam upgrade, which is the wave beam, which goes through walls. It also does twice twice the damage, I think. So like if something takes eight hits, now it'll take four. That's good to have, I guess. I still prefer the uh, the ice one though. Ice beam. Let's see with the screw attack, I'm barely even taking any damage. It's very useful in the the next area coming up after this. 
Well, not, not directly. This is what I was thinking of before. Ah, oh, that didn't work. Or you have to go far to the right. Wait, wait. Oh, I'm doing this wrong. You can only have a certain amount of blocks destroyed on the screen at any given time. That causes some problems in this area. I'm trying to get through these bricks. Oh, that didn't work. I'll go up there. There's another one of these. Then they put these fireballs here to knock you into there. I think they did that on purpose. That's the only thing down here is this one missile. And then you have to backtrack all the way back. That's the one that's really not worth it. They give you more missiles than, than you'd ever need in this game. Now I just gotta go all the way back. But that's, that's it for this, uh, green area. That's everything. <laughs> I always like this hallway, because it's different. safe now for the rest of the game. As long as I didn't fall in that thing. Uh, you can't... You can't go through the ceiling there. That didn't work. You can't kill enemies either with the screw attack if you have just taken damage when you're flashing. Just doesn't work. There's where, where we need to be, right here. Just gotta go to the left. I can go in there. I think I can just go in here. Maybe. I don't know. I don't even remember. I think I can go up to the floor. Unless there's three floors here. I think there's only two. Hope I just didn't waste time here. Yeah, there we go. It's the exit to the right. gun sticking to the top of the door there. Hope I'm not missing anything. I can't really pay attention while I'm failing at thinking of things to say. It's another one of these hallways. In any other Metroid game you wanna Put a power bomb right in the middle. I think they do that in the remake of this game, actually. Zero, zero mission to do that. I think that's the end of the game, though. Oh, I gotta stop clearing my throat. It's too noisy. Just 
edit that out. So now, uh, go down. Here. I think this is as far as you can go here. This place looks familiar. Another pallet swap. That's really what this game is. Recolor everything. You know, it's that that's one of the main reasons why it's so easy to get lost in this game. Is everything looks the same. The map is actually very small in comparison with other Metroid games. But... Okay, that's uh <laughs> next area is down there, so I'm gonna stop the recording now. Thanks for watching if anyone does and goodbye bye bye